What's going on everyone? Tony Gwynn Jr. here. Uh, welcome to another vlog. Uh, you can also catch me on Gwynn and Chris 3 to 7 Monday through Friday on 97.3 to Fan. So uh, with the winter meetings a week away, um, I figured it'd be a good time to maybe give you uh, my blueprint for the Padres and, and how this offseason should go, right? I think uh, for the pods, we're keeping the 2020 season in mind here, right? Because that is supposedly when the Padres are expecting to be contending playoff-wise. So to keep up with that momentum and maybe even speed it up, I'm sure the people of San Diego, including myself, wouldn't mind uh, that that kind of that that timeline to kind of speed up a little bit. So uh, I think first and foremost, you got to start with some frontline pitching at the top of the rotation, right? Uh, you've heard the Padres. His name mentioned as it pertains to Noah Syndergaard. That's kind of died down. Uh, now you're hear, hearing Sonny Gray uh, as an option for the Padres, which, which I think would be a good fit. Either one would be a good fit. Syndergaard, I, I'm a little leery only because of the, the injury issues he's had, but everything I'm hearing, the kid is 100%. If the Padres can pull off a deal like that to get a guy like Syndergaard or Sonny Gray for that matter, I think it would be uh, fantastic. I think uh, the next position after – Maybe one or two of those frontline starters, if you can. Um, the tough part is uh, for the Padres and each of the places that they need most, pitching, third base, and as of right now, shortstop, uh, two of the three you're going to probably have to trade to get, right? Frontline starting pitching just isn't going to be an easy get, right? You're not going to – there's not very many on the free agent list at this point, Um most of the ones that are available are via trade. Corey Kluber's another one that, that could be mentioned in that, um, that category. Third base is even tougher, right? Uh, jo Josh Donaldson was the, probably the top guy at third. He's off the board. Adrian Beltre, he retired. Uh, the only guy remaining I think would actually be a good fit for the Padres is Mike Moustakas. Uh, but, again, that's a free agent. Do you want to go out and spend that kind of money? Um, or you can go out and pro possibly make a trade for a third baseman. Uh, the other thing that has to be kind of taken care of is what happens with Will Myers. I, I, I don't think there's any question uh, with the emergence uh, of Fran Milreis, Hunter Renfro um, at the corner position, which, we're, which is where Will needs to play. I don't think he, he's a center fielder. Um, I think we all saw that third base probably isn't a, a strong suit for him, and I don't know that the Padres would feel comfortable putting him back out there unless you saw just uh, dramatic improvement over the offseason. So uh, I, I just can't see him playing there. And if that's the case, where else can he play? Eric Hosmer's at first. He can't play there. Um, so that means you'd have to move him. And that may be a piece that you have to use to get that third baseman or to get that shortstop that's out there. Remember, Freddie Galvez is a free agent. And as of right now, with Gene Segura actually going to the Phillies, even though it was rumored the Padres were, were trying to get him, shortstop is still another position. So your whole left side of the field is open right now. Um, Padres have some in-house candidates that are young. I mean, Ty France uh, was added to the 40-man roster, kid here out of San Diego State. Um, I'm sure he'll be given opportunity, but I don't know that he's ready yet to contribute at the big league level. Um, would I love to see that happen? Yes, because that means the Padres get to save some money and it's a, one of their homegrown guys. So, of course, I would love to see that. But I think going into this winter meeting is going to be very important uh, for the Padres to come away with one of those three. You know, you're either getting a front end starting pitching, uh, you're getting a third baseman, or you perhaps come up with a deal to possibly move uh, Will Myers and, and bring something back in one of those positions of need. So uh, we're only a week away. Again, from winter meetings, we're going to start getting some of those answers here pretty soon. You guys have a good day.